Pittsburgh Public Theater is opening its 44th season with a Pittsburgh premiere. It's a clever comedy adapted from Jane Austen's classic love story, Pride and Prejudice. Here to tell us about this production of sisters trying to find a mate in a time before social media and dating apps is the director, Desdemona Chang. Good morning. Good morning. So this is really fun to have this as uh, the premiere here in Pittsburgh and also to open Pittsburgh Public Theater's season. Yeah, so Pride and Prejudice has been, has the, has been done before in Pittsburgh, um, but this is first the first time this adaptation by right. Kate Hamill is being done here. And it's super exciting because we're in the middle of a new transition, new leadership, and so we thought it'd be good to start the season with a very wild, spectacular romantic comedy. Well, and that's what you said, it's a rom-com from its, yeah. from its day and it carries over to current time. Yeah, so it's based on Austen's novel, Pride and Prejudice, um, and it's set in the 1800s, a certain period, um, but the language is modern. There's a kind of wild humor uh, and athletic physical energy about it. Um, the sensibilities are modern, and so in some ways you're looking at these girls in period clothing, um, but you feel like this is a story very much about today. And there's only a dozen actors, and they play. We play. Uh, it's yeah. It's actually eight actors. Eight and actors. Sorry, over a dozen, dozen characters. Roles. Right. So there's sorry, characters the that double. There's right. costume changes. We have costume changes that take place over seconds, costume changes on stage, and so um, it's kind of a tech adventure for us too. And yeah. you said that maybe there's not so many, mod we said swipe right earlier, so right. <laughs> not so many modern things in the language like that, but there are some things that you will see that will draw your attention that you'll say, oh, okay, I know what that means. Totally, totally. We have, um, so the design, uh, we've, been, we've been using the term relaxed period in our okay. design conversations. Um, you get a sense that feels it feels like a period piece, and then suddenly you'll see like, oh, there's a red solo cup on stage, or <laughs> there's a, there's a punch bowl that looks like you know one of those like spigot um, punch things, and so we have a lot of design elements and details that have modern touches um, to kind of I don't know I guess bump up against the period and the fussiness of the story. I see. And so now you primarily work on the West Coast. So what's it like being here in Pittsburgh? I love Pittsburgh. Do the you? food oh, that's here so great is to hear. amazing. I'm from Seattle. And so, you know, the Northwest, we're a little fussy about our food, but I just took um, the food tour yesterday. That's and great. I think the folks have been so welcoming and so generous. Uh, I'm really happy to be here. Well, we're so happy that you brought Pride and Prejudice. And before I let you go, I forgot to ask Chef Crystal Baldwin, but you have a name for your car. I do. And what is the name of your car? My car is named Lucy. Lucy. <laughs> I love it. And Amber, who was joining us from the Milkshake Factory earlier, her uh, car's name is Susan Strong. So just, you know. There Good are people know. on this National Name Your Car Day that have names for their cars. Again, Pride and Prejudice, presented by Pittsburgh Public Theater, is on stage now through October 28th. You can get showtimes and tickets by calling the box office or going online. You'll find the link at kdka.com slash PTL. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.